Just for a moment, picture a planet that's completely different from anything we've ever seen before. It's a place that's so alien to us that it seems like it belongs in the pages of science fiction rather than our shared reality. Now, imagine a star 100 light years away from Earth. That's a huge distance, but in the grand scheme of the universe, it's just a speck. GJ9827D is a planet that orbits a distant star. It challenges what we thought we knew about how planets are formed. This isn't just another rocky planet floating in space. It's something much more fascinating. It's called a steam world by astronomers because the planet is wrapped in an atmosphere made up mostly of hot water vapor. It's a first for us, and it's changing what we know about the planets out there. So what makes GJ9827D stand out among the thousands of exoplanets we've discovered in the last few decades? First of all, this planet is about twice the size of Earth and approximately three times as massive. But that's where the similarities to our home planet end. GJ9827D is different to Earth because it's saturated with water in its gaseous state, steam. This is unlike Earth, where water exists as a liquid, vapor, and ice across a range of temperatures and environments. This planet is far too hot for liquid water to exist there, and the steam-dominated atmosphere creates a pressure cooker-like environment. It's not just uninhabitable, it's downright hostile. Even though GJ9827D might never be a good candidate for life, it's still important to find it because it helps us understand how planets are formed, evolve, and maybe even support life in other parts of the universe. GJ9827D orbits a K-type star, which is smaller and cooler than our sun. The planet is so close to its host star that it takes just over six days to complete a full orbit. Just picture it, a planet where a year lasts less than a week on Earth. That kind of close proximity to a star is what generates the extreme heat, which turns what might have been a water-rich world into a boiling steam planet. GJ9827D is just one of three planets that are known to orbit this star, which makes it part of a compact planetary system. The other planets don't have the same extreme characteristics, though. GJ9827D is truly one of a kind in this regard. But how did we get to know so much about this planet that's so far away? The answer lies in the James Webb Space Telescope's impressive capabilities. The planet was first spotted by the Kepler Space Telescope in 2017, but it was only thanks to Webb that we could really start to understand what it was like. By using a technique called transmission spectroscopy, astronomers can analyze the light from a star as it passes through a planet's atmosphere. This method lets scientists study the fingerprints of elements and molecules in the atmosphere based on how they absorb or block certain wavelengths of light. Each element has a unique signature. And when scientists analyzed GJ9827D, they made an incredible discovery. There was an enormous amount of water vapor present. To give you some context, most exoplanets studied with transmission spectroscopy have atmospheres made up mostly of the lightest elements, hydrogen and helium. These elements are pretty common throughout the universe and make up the majority of gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. But GJ9827D is different because its atmosphere is full of heavier molecules, mostly water vapor. This makes it more similar to our own planet, Earth, but its environment is far more extreme. In a nutshell, it's a completely new type of world, one that we've never directly observed before. When astronomers first suggested the idea of steam worlds, it was based on models and theories about how planets with a lot of water might behave when they were exposed to intense heat. For a long time, these steam worlds were just theory, until GJ9827D gave us our first concrete example. It's a game-changing discovery. It suggests there could be many more planets like this out there, scattered across the galaxy, just waiting to be found. If GJ9827D exists, it's possible that similar water-rich worlds could also exist in other planetary systems perhaps even in more temperate zones where life could take root. To understand the importance of this discovery, it's helpful to think about what it means for our understanding of the diversity of planets in the universe. We've always known that the planets in our solar system were just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the variety of worlds that might exist. In recent decades, we've found gas giants that are many times the size of Jupiter, rocky super-Earths that are larger than our planet but smaller than Neptune, and planets that orbit not one, but two, or even three stars. We've seen planets with scorching, hot surfaces, and others that are frozen solid. 
But GJ9827D is a whole new category, one where water vapor dominates the atmosphere in such a way that it creates a global steam bath. This discovery helps us understand more about what's possible in the universe. It also shows us that nature is more inventive than we thought. But GJ9827D is more than just a curiosity. It's a valuable piece of the puzzle in our quest to understand how planets form and evolve. Studying its steam-rich atmosphere will help scientists learn more about how planets acquire and lose water over time. Water is a vital ingredient for life as we know it. So understanding how it behaves on different planets is crucial to figuring out where life might arise elsewhere in the universe. On Earth, water is central to our ecosystems, influencing everything from our weather patterns to the geological processes that build and reshape continents. But on GJ9827D, water exists in a state we're less familiar with, trapped in an atmosphere that's far too hot for liquid water to exist. It also makes us think about the possibility of other kinds of extreme planets. If a steam world like GJ9827D can exist, what else is out there? Could there be planets where the atmosphere is made up of other exotic compounds? Maybe there are worlds with oceans of liquid methane or atmospheres filled with clouds of sulfuric acid, like Venus. The discovery of GJ9827D shows that the universe is full of surprises, and we've only just started to explore what's possible. For the scientists working on the James Webb Space Telescope, this discovery is just the start. The telescope's incredible ability to look deep into the atmospheres of far-off planets is giving us insights we could only imagine just a few years ago. With each new discovery, we're getting closer to answering some of the biggest questions in science. How do planets actually form? How common are Earth-like planets? And the most exciting question of all is whether we're alone in the universe. What makes this even more exciting is that young scientists like Ishan Raoul are leading the way. Raoul, who's on the GJ9827D team, called the discovery surreal. And who could blame him? It's not every day that you get to work with data from the most advanced telescope ever built, uncovering entirely new types of planets. Raoul's work is a testament to the next generation of astronomers who are poised to make even more groundbreaking discoveries in the years to come. It's clear that the discovery of GJ9827D will go down in history as a key moment in our exploration of the cosmos. It's a reminder that the universe is huge, strange, and full of things we've not yet discovered. With each new planet we discover, we feel a sense of awe and curiosity, and it makes us wonder, what else is out there? If planets like GJ9827D can exist, what other types of planets are we missing? And how many of those planets might have the right conditions for life? As we keep studying GJ9827D, we'll learn more about its atmosphere, how it was formed, and where it fits in the wider cosmic picture. But for now, it's a great example of the huge variety of planets in our galaxy. Each one could tell us something about how planets, atmospheres, and even life itself are formed. It's discoveries like this that show why space exploration is so important. It challenges us to think differently about our place in the universe. So as we look up at the stars tonight, we can think about all the planets that we can't see yet, waiting for the next great telescope to reveal their secrets. GJ9827D is just the beginning. The universe is huge and there's so much more to discover.